Hello friends, in this video I'll introduce you to the best seismic map of Iceland where you can track all the ongoing uh, seismic unrest in Iceland, all the earthquakes in specific areas of Iceland. And it is uh, can be accessed at the website called vafri.isquake. When you get to this website, you will choose the language to English or Icelandic, whatever you prefer. We will set it to English. And if you go in settings, you can choose colorize by depths. Uh, then you can see how shallow the earthquakes are. And you can also track activity by specific uh, seismometers around Iceland. Let's take a look at Fagradalsfjall, what is going on at specific mountains in Iceland. You see right now the activity is subsiding, but it doesn't mean that the eruption is not going to take place. In fact, quite the opposite. Um, in a recent interview, Tordur Tordarsson, famous Icelandic volcanologist, told that he expects the eruption in a day or Two. So we might see it tomorrow or Monday, hopefully. So let's take a better look. Let's zoom in where the earthquakes are the most shallow. And as you see, there had been quite numerous earthquakes in the past six hours all around Kaler Mountain here, very much also to the east of Kaler, but primarily along the dike, you see along this dike towards Fagradalsfjall. Uh, there is a tectonic plate boundary, this brown line here that runs from the southwest to the northeast, the boundary between two tectonic plates. And that's where we have a lot of seismic activity as a result. And we are likely to see the eruption, very likely here, probably. Little Hrutor Mountain, as we suggested before, that's where the earthquakes are the most shallow. Uh, right now, in the past six hours, you see a lava might break to the surface somewhere here at Little Hrutor. Very possible. Along this old dike that generated um, volcanic eruptions in Gelgadal, and Meradalir, you see it goes in straight line here, the same volcanic system, the same plumbing system that is active now, and we might see volcanic eruption in this area, that's what the earthquake suggests. Of course, earthquakes do not tell you exactly where the magma is flowing, they are telling you where the rocks are shaking, where there is some activity in the ground, but we don't know exactly where the magma is going to break, but it is a strong indication that the magma is trying to break to the surface here at Little Router. So I wouldn't suggest you to walk there right now or be in this area, perhaps on the top of Hroinsels uh, Watsfels Mountain or uh, maybe uh, somewhere close at uh, Long Ridge or some mountains here, but not in here because. Here the ground can break up any time. Uh, so this is the map that I wanted to show you. It's good to have it for reference for your future uh, to track ongoing events. If you follow it, then you can also go uh, GPS, choose different GPS stations. Um, and uh, 15 days, let's cho choose Iceland. This is daily number of earthquakes in Iceland, uh, specifically, and then they are subsiding. You see, we had most of earthquakes three days ago, and now we have less earthquakes. But as I told you, the still is very common before the eruption. It was the case before Krakatoa erupted in Indonesia, famous volcano in 1885. It was preceded by two days of still, when everybody thought already that it's not going to erupt. It erupted before the still. Because when magma comes closer to the surface, there is, of course, less activity, less seismic activity, because less shaking. It's already almost up close to the surface. But uh, let's uh, see Reykjanes Peninsula. Here you see a clear pattern in earthquakes in Reykjanes Peninsula. We have two waves now. 
Now you see the first one was the biggest way. We had 59 earthquakes in one day, uh, and then it kind of s slowed it, and then it went up and down. You see how it uh, goes uh, up and down every day. And here you see the depth of earthquakes. The depth of earthquakes is increasing uh, to more closer to the uh, to the surface. You see we had more deeper earthquakes. On the fifth, they were pretty deep. Now we have strong earthquakes at the two kilometers, three kilometers depth. So it means magma is trying to break up. Tordor Tarjasan told that now magma sits at two kilometers and trying to find its way up to the surface. There was almost eruption. We were, he told we were very close to the eruption on Thursday, Friday, but now it sits at two kilometers, but it should break any time anyway soon and here you see the seismic moment which is increasing so it is a uh, this is looks like a narrowing triangle which when it comes here to the narrowest point will might end uh, in eruption that's the resource that I wanted to share with you wafri.is you can use it for your own benefit and I wish you all the best Greetings from Iceland.